Hey guys, this is Austin. Today we're gonna to be talking about these different models of ZF5 that we offer, going over the small differences between all the different versions and which one might be right for you. Almost all of our ZF5s are going to come in a pistol configuration. So it won't look like this. There won't be a vertical foregrip or a stock uh, on any of our pistol models. It'll just be the end cap and our standard plastic hardware. Uh, and the reason for that is any of our ZF5s, and there's only one that's a 16 inch, if any of our ZF5s are under a 16 inch barrel, we're just gonna ship them as a pistol. You're able to put whatever brace or you're able to form one it and put whatever stock on it you want. We give you guys the customizability for doing that. It saves you a little bit of money because you can just buy whatever parts you want in the first place. Anyway, so uh, jumping right into it, I don't have a model in front of me. This is gonna be the closest one I have, but it is going to be the ZF5L for long and it is the only ZF5 rifle that we sell. It is this exact ZF5, but it's gonna have a 16 inch barrel. So that's the only ZF5 that comes in a rifle configuration uh, and you can purchase it right on our website. Our main one and by far our most popular one is the ZF5, which is what I have in my hands right now. As you can see, I've tricked it out with our A3 stock, vertical grip, light and optic, but this is the most popular one that uh, we sell. It is based on the original MP5 platform. So if you're looking for an amazing American-made recreation of the MP5, this is what you're going for. It's gonna have that eight inch barrel that is both threaded and has a tri-lug on it. And it accepts any MP5 compatible stock. So our folding stocks, our A3 stock, the Magpul hardware, or even some HK hardware, it's all gonna be cross compatible. Same with the lowers uh, and uh, everything else. The other thing I wanna mention that comes standard on every single ZF5 is going to be the Magpul safety selector. It's a departure from the original HK safety selector that is horrible. No one should ever have to use uh, the Magpul one that Magpul manufactured is amazing, which is why we include it from the factory on our lowers. So that is the ZF5. That is going to have the eight inch barrel and the tri-lug and threaded uh, barrel. Our second most popular one by a lot is going to be our ZF5P. Now the P is the start of all of our PDW style ZF5s. The rest of them are going to have uh, the reduced size that is based on the MP5K platform. The only differences in these are going to be the muzzle device and we'll get into that. Uh, but if you're looking for any type of uh, pistol that is going to be uh, MP5K style or a great PDW option. Any of the PDW ZF5s are gonna be great. What is the P? Well, the P is the only PDW ZF5 that has both a threaded barrel and a tri-lug on it. If you're using a tri-lug like I have on the ZF5 uh, or this ZF5P, you're going to want the ZF5P for your uh, PDW ZF5. And that is going to be the only distinguishing factor about the ZF5P. Getting a little bit shorter from there, we have our ZF5T. Now the T is a PDW ZF5, like the ZF5P. The only difference is the barrel is threaded and does not have the tri-lug adapter on it. So if you want to use a suppressor, but you want your package to be as short as possible, you're going to want the ZF5T because you uh, remove that little bit of length where the tri lugs normally would be, and you're still able to run suppressed with that half by 28 threaded down. As an added note, if you purchase a premium package ZF5 or ZF5P from us, you're gonna get a tri lug flash adapter. You're not gonna get that if you buy the premium package ZF5T, or what I don't have to show you, and the shortest version is the ZF5K. K being Kurtz, so kind of the original designation for the MP5, where it doesn't even have a threaded barrel, it's just chopped off right at the muzzle. As you can see, it would look exactly like this, but this little bit here where the threaded barrel is, it just wouldn't exist. So it would be the shortest possible ZF5 PDW that you can get. So those are the five ZF5s out there, and whatever one suits your needs is gonna come down to barrel length and muzzle attachment. If you don't need any type of suppressor mounting, the ZF5K is great. It'll fit in the bag, it'll be low snag. If you just want a threaded barrel, uh, the ZF5T is great. And if you're using a tri-lug, you're gonna want the ZF5P. And if you want the full-size MP5 style firearm, you're going to want the ZF5, which is our most popular option. I hope that answers your guys' questions. I'm gonna get out of this scorching hot sun. You guys have a good day.